some similarities over the last 15 years between Gucci Mane Le Flair and Yo Gotti. Both are self-proclaimed graduates of trapping and they both have leveled up to CEO status. Now as I mentioned earlier, Gucci Mane and Yo Gotti have a lot in common. Young Dolph for example, we all know that Gucci Mane tried to sign Young Dolph in 2013. But Young Dolph turned Gucci down and Gucci only settled for a partnership. And they released that classic East Atlanta Memphis mixtape. And about a year later, Yo Gotti, we all know, tried to sign Young Dolph. And Young Dolph told him a similar answer as he gave Gucci Man. He's not willing to sign the CMG. Nor was Young Dolph willing to do a collaboration project with Yo Gotti. Dolph wanted nothing to do with Gotti, and of course this made Gotti upset, and that's where things spiraled out of control. It's like, just because you don't want to sign to me, why can't we get money together, is your Gotti's mind frame in it. But I guess some people pick and choose who they want to deal with business wise, and that's got to be respectable. And we know Young Dolph rejected both Yo Gotti and Gucci Mane, and then he expanded his PRE brand. And he signed artists such as Key Glock, Snoop Bass, Kenny Money, and more. Now, after this situation with the rejection of Dolph, Gucci Mane ended up going to jail, getting locked up after violating his probation. And before getting locked up, we all know Gucci was dating his current wife, Keisha Kaor. And once he got locked up, Keisha started dating Yo Gotti, which of course didn't last long. Gucci got out, married his current wife Keisha, and they have two beautiful kids together. Life goes on. Now Yo Gotti went on to build up his CMG brand by grabbing artists such as 42 Doug, ESTG, Mozzie, Moneybag, Yo Black, Youngster, and some others. Gucci Mane got a young squad of his own the new 1017 squad and even grabbed the artist from Memphis named Pooh Shiesty. And if you didn't know, Pooh Shiesty's pops, the mob boss, had an artist named Miscellaneous Yo Gotti was beefing with back when he was young. But that's another story. Then out of nowhere, Yo Gotti popped up with that dollar for dollar challenge where he promised to sign a new artist if their verse was hard enough. I never let my niggas down, now I never put them choppers down. Gotti ended up signing 10%, a rapper most of y'all probably never heard of. 10% won that Yo Gotti dollar for dollar check. Now he's part of the CMG brand. Now Gucci Mane tried to do the same thing. What's happening? It's your boy Wap. Listen, I just dropped three freestyles with open verses on all platforms. They're available now at all DSPs. Listen, I need y'all to go get the three freestyles, stream them. I need y'all to rap on all the freestyles and hashtag 1017 up next. Me and my team gonna be searching that hashtag. We looking for our next big artist. And not only will you be signed to 1017, my next artist, when I drop my next album on 1017, you will be featured on the album. So that's all you have to do is go to 1017 up next. It's three freestyles on all platforms. Pick which one you want to rap on all of them. Submit that with the hashtag 1017 up next. Me and the crew gonna be licking and licking and searching for the next artist. And we're gonna bring you on and make you involved with my next album. We're gonna have a big announcement, 1017. Now Gucci Mane copying Yo Gotti's challenge didn't help him at all. I don't even remember Gucci signing anybody. And now it's a new day. Young Dolph's birthday just passed. Yo Gotti dropped a new album slash mixtape. And Gucci Mane dropped Gucci Wappenheimer. Do y'all notice the similarities in these thumbnails? So many similarities between the two. 
Gucci claims he has $200 million, while Yo Gotti claims he has $85 million. Hey, yo, make sure you get your autographed copy. And I showed you so. She gonna be a collector's item, class. So make sure you go to my site, CMG the label, dot shop, and get your copy. Packs available now for pre order. Breath of Fresh Air fan packs are right now available for pre order for the fans. This is going to be a classic album. Make sure y'all tap in. Scooch 1017. Yeah. Album of the year. Either they in cahoots or they using the same marketing team. <laughs> Comment below. Let me know what y'all think about this. Are Gucci Mane and Yo Gotti really beefing? Or are they secretly working together to overtake the industry? Only time will tell. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It's free. TV. Ha <laughs>